Independent comic books hold a charm all their own. While here at This Got Made we often lampoon these books, we do so with a certain amount of respect. Indeed, a toast should be raised to those weekend warriors who spend their free time bent over an art table, honing their craft to make books not quite ready for the mainstream. True, the writing may be lackluster and badly in need of an editor's presence, and the artwork might be akin to something out of Mrs. Biggerstaff's second-grade classroom, but nevertheless, the creators saw their dream through and put it out there. What did you do this weekend? Angel Love is a true embodiment of that pioneering indie spirit. The story of a perky young redhead making her way in the big city in the 1980s, it captures the introspective, looking-in mentality of the time, but with a simplistic style and art palette that encapsulates that era as well. Does the book stack up against its fellow alternative press counterparts of the age? Time will tell. But remember, not all indie books are... What? It's not an indie comic? DC? The people at DC Comics made this? Jesus Christ, I've seen better artwork in a Fantagraphics book. I know they were trying different shit back then, but shit is the operative word here. What were they thinking when they greenlit this? Women's issues? That's preposterous! Women don't read comics! And furthermore... We here at This Got Made would like to address the opinions made by Carlton Tetley that women do not read comics. Nothing could be further from the truth. Not only are more women reading comics now than ever before, some of the greatest creators in comics, like Trina Robbins, Rimiko Takahashi, Gail Simone, and Marie Severin are, the last time we checked, women. Women do, in fact, read comics. We just didn't read Angel Love. I mean, good lord, would you? You should have called it Angel Soft. You know, like, like the toilet paper? <laughs> oh, come on, that was funny! Okay, apparently some of the sponsors of this show have a little problem with one man's honest opinion. Fine. Women read comics. Women have even created some shining examples of excellence in comics. An oxymoron if ever I heard it, but hey, to each their own. In any event, this is a book that got made. Read it at your own peril. I'm Carlton Tetley. Good day and good reading.